Chris, and this is how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to Shopify. First off, let's click online store. That's my man. <laughs> click online store and then, oh, then click domains. After clicking, oh, not connected. So I'm just delete. I'm just gonna delete it just for the sake of showing it to you guys how you can connect it. Okay. So make sure to choose Shopify Marish domain, and let's remove this for the meantime. Okay. So as you mean, you just open your Shopify store and you would want to connect your GoDaddy domain. Make sure to connect existing domain. Type back, back your domain, okay? Mine is doctorbasicph.com. Then click verify your domain. So on Shopify, it will give you instruction on what to do. So for this one, you have to connect your C name and a record. Where do we connect this? We need to go to your GoDaddy domain, okay? So first step is to go to Shopify and connect existing domain. After connecting, go to GoDaddy, manage DNS setting, and add C name and a record. So let's go to your GoDaddy. Yes, yes. On GoDaddy, here's how you can go. There, okay. So assuming you're on your home. Oh, sorry. So DNS. Let's try here. Assuming you just log in, okay? So that you'll know how to go to this DNS settings. Just log in. This is your domain. Click this three dots. Click manage DNS. After that, this is my DNS for backtobasicpage.com. I have to add my C name. So host www and then go back to your C name, copy, go back to the main base. Make sure to hit save. Next is your A record. A record hoses it should be at okay. Go back to your Shopify. Happy, go back to the main. Points two. Hit save. There you go. So make sure let's go back to your domain this time and verify again. Okay, it should be correct. And after that, uh, normally domains takes 24 to 48 hours to fully propagate. Let's just wait for them. By the way, while waiting, this is my main man. And they're also a uh, master for Shopify settings. They own, they know a lot of stuff. So it's now connected. Change primary. Okay, so I click change primary domain. Third party domains back to basic and hit save. After that, let's now try to visit my website. Now we have a back to basicph.com and it's now live. Okay, this is my website. That's all. Thank you.